Well, this week in May is a somber time for law enforcement everywhere. That's what ends Hallie Pilot joins us now to explain. Good evening, Hallie. Good evening, Grant and Nicole. Yes, it definitely is a somber week for everybody, for law enforcement everywhere. But today in Florida, I had the honor of attending the 2018 Law Enforcement Memorial. This year it was hosted by the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office and it honored 2017's fallen Florida law enforcement officers. Take a look. Today's ceremony takes place during National Police Week, an event established in 1962 honoring the men and women who proudly wear the badge. The 33rd annual memorial recognizing the 10 law enforcement officers and two canines who gave their lives in the line of duty. Remember, this is just Florida. Nationwide, there are dozens of other law enforcement officers that have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Sarasota Memorial Hospital Public Safety Chief Mickey Watson says he was humbled and honored to read those 12 names. On the wreath in front of me, you'll see three roses. He says the red represents the blood shed by the officers. The blue is a symbol of the family and loved ones left behind, and the white White is the purity of the officers lives and the sacrifices made by those who made this ultimate sacrifice. Sarasota Police Chief Bernadette DePino and Sarasota County Fire Chief Michael Regner among those placing a yellow rose as each hero's name was called. Though none of the fallen officers were local, Hoffman says they're all family. The deputy that I placed the rose for happened to be a graduate of Port Charlotte High School in Charlotte County, and uh, we competed against Port Charlotte High School when I was in high school. So there's always a connection that you have to these men and women. Hoffman overwhelmed by community support and hoping to make his fallen law enforcement brothers and sisters proud by wearing his badge every day. You have to carry on one foot in front of the other and, and go to work and, and do the job. If we don't go to work and we don't protect our citizens, uh, then then, you know, th that wouldn't be the way that we would honor their lives. And those two canines, we'll have that all on our website, snntv.com. So a lot of emotion out there. Oh, yeah. Just I mean, and then that didn't even do it justice. It was a beautiful service and yeah. a lot of a lot of emotions for it really sure. It pulls at your heartstrings there. Oh, absolutely. Holly, thank you so much for that report. Thank you.